Brian Robinson Jr., running back out of Alabama, is Washington's third round selection and the 98th overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Now, many might question why the Commanders would draft another running back. After all, we have Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick, and Jarrett Patterson. While the Commanders welcomed McKissick back after nearly losing him to the Buffalo Bills earlier during free agency, there was still a large void to be filled with the departure of Peyton Barber, who helped in short yardage situations back for the team in 2020. Enter Brian Robinson Jr. There is hope for past draftees and Darius Geis, Bryce Love, but Geis's legal issues found him off the team a couple of seasons ago, and Bryce Love never really saw playing time. And since then, Antonio Gibson has made the transition to running back a successful one, albeit he has had some fumbling issues. Robinson hopes to come in and be that one-two punch with Gibson, or at least be the hammer on those short yardage situations, much like how Peyton Barber was for the team a couple of seasons ago. So let's take a look at the positives for drafting Brian Robinson Jr. He has good build for the position. Robinson has the size you need at the running back position, which will make him an effective player on short yardage plays, such as those third and short or fourth and short downs where picking up the first down or the score is quite crucial. Robinson is a tough runner with good play strength. He consistently runs through arm tackles and has no qualms running through smaller defenders. If Brian can get to the second level, he's going to pick up an additional seven to eight yards and you're going to have to gang tackle him to get him down to the ground. Robinson plays with above average balance. He can consistently start and stop to set up his block. This can also mean that he plays with patience, and oftentimes when running backs are good at being able to set up blockers, they can rip off very good runs. There's not a lot of tread on his tires because, well, of the other Alabama's talented running backs that Robinson had to patiently wait behind. During his time in Alabama, Robinson had to wait his turn, and when he was finally given a shot at running back, he definitely took his chance. He's got fresh legs. So coming into the NFL, you'll have a very good running back free from injuries. Brian Robinson has good natural hands out of the backfield. He could be a pass receiver out of the backfield, but also the man knows how to carry the rock. In his years at Alabama, he never fumbled the ball. That's right. He never fumbled fumbled the football. Having a running back who is consistent with holding on to the ball is a crucial thing for Ron Rivera and company, especially in big games where the team that turns the ball over less is often the team that's going to win the football game. So what are Brian Robinson's negatives? He's only average overall in athletic ability. He lacks overwhelming burst and agility. He's not going to have lightning speed. He's not going to be able to run away from defenders. He's not not what you call a home run type of running back. He tends to have inconsistent vision. Now, Robinson may not always be able to see the right hole to go through, which means this might greatly limit the yards he could achieve. He guesses in protection. He will often stay in and instead of releasing on his route. Robinson will have to learn to protect. Now, this could be covered up by simply having another back in rotation, but we all know that in the NFL, ultimately, if Robinson wants reps, he's going to have to learn to do the dirty work and to do it well. He's got to learn to protect the quarterback. It can't always be about running the rock. It can't be about the guessing game. Overall, I give this pick a C plus. Having seen Robinson's size in rookie minicamp, I am very impressed. But I am not quite sure how much of an impact he will have right out of the gate. So what do you think about the Brian Robinson pick? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and share it with your friends. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch these videos. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Let's go Maniacs.